everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I'm checking out the Era Bundle from Acusonus. Now, the standard bundle includes these four plugins. You get the Era Plosive Remover, the Deesser, the Noise Remover, and the Reverb Remover. Now, if you get the Pro version, which is a bit more expensive, this includes the Era D plugin, which is a dual multiband denoiser and dereverb plugin. But since I've already done an extensive tutorial on that plugin, I'm gonna focus on the standard ERA bundle in this video. If you wanna check out ERA D, I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. So to start out, I'm gonna show you these first two. This is the ERA Plosive Remover and the ERA DSer. So I'm gonna bypass the DSer for now and just kinda of push this off to the side. Let's move over to the Plosive Remover and I'm gonna bypass it for now. And let's listen to this raw vocal recording I have here. Basically, this is just, this is a, an AKG C414 uh, mic, and I've intentionally taken away the pop filter so that we get a lot of plosives and also sibilants, and I'm kind of singing close to the mic as well. So we're getting a lot of sibilants in the recording as well. So the only thing on this recording right now is EQ and compression. So I'll give this a listen with the music, and I'll solo it out. Take back what you said Take a look in the mirror There's nothing left Nothing left to hide anymore Take nothing more or less Than what you have given My mind's just soaring high Staring at the stars We will rise So there's a really obvious plosive at the beginning here. I'll just solo out the vocals. Let's listen to this one more time. Take back what you said. On back, there's a really hard plosive there. Plosives typically happen on P's and B's, but sometimes other syllables as well. Let's continue on, you'll hear some other ones. Take a look in the mirror, there's nothing left. A nothing, the thing of nothing. There's a bit of a plosive there as well. Left, nothing left to hide. Same thing there. Hide anymore. Take nothing more. Again, a nothing, the thing of nothing. There's a bit of a, a bassy boom in there. So what the plosive remover does is it's it's very simple. It's almost like a one knob format. You pull up the processing, you get more of the plosive removal you can choose either a normal or extreme setting. Since this is kind of like hard rock, I'm gonna go with the extreme setting. And I'll just pull this up a bit to around the mid 70s. Let's see what this does to my vocal recording. Take back what you said. So that's great. Like it takes away that boominess of the plosive. Take back what. And you can see right here, you can see the removal of it. Take back what you said. Take a look in the mirror. There's nothing left, nothing left to hide anymore. Take nothing more or less. So one of the most common problems with vocal recording, having plosives in the recording because either a lack of a pop filter or just a very plosive singer can be easily solved with the plosive remover from Acusonus. So that's a very cool plugin, very simple to use. So let's move on to the deesser. So there's a spot in here where there's a lot of S's happening, and we can use this deesser to remove those S's or tame down those S's. My mind's just soaring high, staring at the stars. Right there. Soaring high, staring at the stars. There's a lot of S's in there, and S's tend to pop out in the mix and be more noticeable than, than the sort of vowel and tonal elements of the vocals. So adding in a de -er is a perfect way to push down the sibilant areas of your vocal. So same thing here, very simple interface. You have three modes, narrow, uh, n normal and broad, and there's an intense setting if they're really intense uh, sibilant problems going on. So I'll just pull this up a bit. I'll go with normal. Let's see what this sounds like. My mind's just soaring high, staring at the stars. So like before, you can see the reduction here. 
My mind's just soaring high, staring at the stars. Now you don't want to use too much of a de because it can start to sound like, almost like a lisp sound. My mind's just soaring high, staring at the stars. So you want to use this, you know, in moderation, like anything else. Turn off the intense setting. Go back to the normal setting. Just pull this up around 60%. Let's see what that sounds like. My mind's just soaring high, staring at the stars. And essentially what a de is, is it's a fast-acting compressor that only compresses the high frequencies. So the more you pull this up, the more compression you have on those high frequencies. So the two of these, the plosive remover and the de using these in tandem with musical recordings has been incredibly useful for me. So I find the noise remover and reverb remover plugin most useful when I'm working on dialogue, especially for YouTube. In my house, I'm using just an AKG C414 in my office, and sometimes, it, because it's a condenser mic, it picks up the heating and air conditioning system. And so one of the most useful things for dialogue is the noise remover plugin because it can automatically sense the background noise and remove that background noise. So here's an example of like a t something typical I'd say for YouTube. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. So there's a, a bit of EQ and compression on it you can really hear that background noise with my AC blaring in the background. And I intentionally cranked it up for this video. So you can really hear that background noise. So the noise remover plugin from AccuSonus is so easy to use. Let's kick this in. And there's a few different ways to apply it. You can apply it to just high frequency noise, low frequency noise, high low frequency noise as well as mid frequency noise. So for this video, I'm just gonna use the all frequency focus mode and I'll just pull up the processing a bit, about halfway, and let's give this a listen. So I'll, I'll bypass it one more time so you can hear that noise at the very beginning there. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. And then with the plugin kicked in. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. I love this plugin. It makes noise reduction so easy. It really makes it super easy to cut out the background noise and keep your voice up front and not create a bunch of artifacts and a bunch of glitchy underwater effects that typically are a result of noise reduction. So this is a great plugin. So the next one is the reverb remover. Now, depending on what sort of space you're in, you may get some reflections off of the walls in the room that you're recording in. Now, my home office where I create most of my YouTube videos does have some uh, absorbing foam and absorbing panels in it, so it does benefit there, but there, there is a bit of reverb in the room, and the reverb remover is a great way of reducing that reverb. So let's kick this in, let's give this a shot as well. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. Now you don't wanna cut out too much of it, of the reverb, because sometimes the reverb is responsible for the high frequencies, and it can sound, sound kind of muddy and underwater if we remove too much of the reverb. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. So here's the before with both of these bypassed. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. And here's the after with both of these kicked back in. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this Logic Pro 10 video tutorial. Much better. So it's more dry, it's more controlled, and there's not a bunch of HVAC noise in the background. So the four plugins that come with the Era Bundle are really a godsend for audio restoration and correcting audio recording issues. I know, I know, we try our best to avoid these issues with proper recording techniques, but sometimes you just can't help it. Each of these has a special, unique use, whether it be musical, vocal recordings, or for voiceovers. You can check out the Era Bundle at AccuSonus.com, and I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.